Hi, my name is Dan, and in this video, I'll outline the options we have for integrating Sage CRM with Sage 100. By connecting the two applications, Sage CRM users can view Sage 100 accounting data and create orders in Sage CRM that feed directly into Sage 100. There are two options for setting up the integration. The first option is published by Sage, and the second option is published by a development partner called Graytrix. With Sage's version of the integration, when we bring up a company, we can launch Sage 100's customer maintenance module to view or edit details related to an existing customer. We can also launch the Sage 100 order entry screens if we need to create a quote or an order. As well, we can also run certain Sage 100 inquiries. With this Sage version of the integration, users must be within the local area network in order for the integration to work. The Gratrix version of the integration is different. When setting it up, we can choose to import not only customers and vendors, but also import products and price lists. This allows us to use all of Sage CRM's internal quoting related functionality. On approval, an order created here will pass right over to Sage 100 to be invoiced. But beyond order processing, users can see a lot of other valuable financial information. Notice all of these accounting related tabs that display in the context of a company. With the Gratrix version of the integration, users do not need to be on the local area network in order for it to work. This Gratrix option is flexible too, and it can be modified. Not only is Sage CRM a practical environment for our customer facing staff, but using CRM results in fewer staff requiring direct access to Sage 100.